Hello and welcome back to Xcop 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier. It's month number two. It's going, yeah, as expected. We're losing a lot of missions so the game has decided to give us a supply rate. Supply rate basically to um, let us have access to all of uh, the important um, resources, so supplies, alien alloys and alarium. However, by going in with only one soldier, it's going to be very, very difficult. Alright, here we go. The reason why it is going to be so difficult uh, simply lies in the fact that the, ad, uh, that, the, that the game engine is cheating. And by that I mean our only chance to win in such a mission is to stay hidden as long as possible. XCOM, however, or XCOM 2, however, has never been designed as a game that was supposed to enable roguelike play. The whole concept of, of concealment was only meant to allow you to set up your very first ambush. The game very much centers around conflict and fighting. Uh, so the way that the programmers at least thought it was a good idea uh, is to analyze or the AI always knows what your mission objective is or where the ne next mission objective is and where your position relative to that objective is. They will place at least one enemy pod between you and the mission objective. So currently here and us respectively, there are probably traits over here. Um, so no matter what I am going to do, we will always find ourselves in a situation where there's going to be a pack of enemies uh, between us and yeah, crates. So to circumvent this really lamentable situation, I'm going to double move as far as I can. As soon as we're going to be spotted out, the run here is over and we will need to basically move back. We cannot stay anywhere for really a long time as uh, the AI will know, the, uh, know about it and they will send uh, troops in our direction. So this here, by the way, is a really shitty spot to be in because it's very likely that either of these sides is going to move uh, move up on uh, onto us. So I'll try to hide here and hope that those guys will move away. You can already see that this uh, pack of enemies is locked onto us. Good, that's two packs, so six enemies down, which means there's probably one more pack around here, maybe two, just trying to move away. And surprisingly, as soon as I move away, you can see those guys begin to move into our direction as well. As if they would have guessed that we are here, right? There is a crate. It will definitely move into our direction, see? That's why I like XCOM so much. If you understand how the engine works, you just don't need to be frustrated. Doesn't always work for me. I'm still getting frustrated easily. But technically I shouldn't. Because I know the engine is doing what the engine is supposed to do. It wants to offer us a fight. Probably the engine currently is like, hey, such a good opportunity for a fight. Why aren't you taking it? So. 
So if we were, let's think that through. If we were to take the crate here, and then go for Overwatch, might as well kill one of them. Can't see another crate anywhere near. Yeah, they might come on top here. And there's the Overwatch. Ah, okay, we got a evac after this here. Nice little shotgun shot. Good job, Roby. There you go, they added just to make it a little bit... Oh yeah, perfect, okay. Now we got the entire map. There we go, that's our crate. Call in the Sky Ranger, boys. We're getting out of here. Die, Sector, die. There you go. Good job. See you later, everyone. Well, flawless mission. Who would have thought? I don't think that we're going to get a promotion despite successfully doing this mission and just way too little kills. Yeah. Four mission, five kills. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What? 25 dodge? Superior agility? That's the best mod that. Uh, that's the best single PCS that could have dropped. Right there. That is incredible. Okay. All right. I'm happy. I am very happy. Avengers plotting new course. And then there is the black market. Monthly income decreased by 19. That's not good. Look at that. Advanced repeater. Very interested uh, for six uh, for 46. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. As for purchasing, could use the engineer, but we don't have the intel. Could make contact, but we don't have the intel. Let's build a little bit faster. We unfortunately don't have uh, the skirmishers yet for extra intel. Uh, bit more avatar progress. That is not good. We're already at four blips. Correction at five. That is pretty far away, Western Europe. Two more steps. Okay. Ah, uh, not good.
Let's take a look. So it's pretty even, I would say. What is she planning? A brutal crackdown on the resistances and permanently lowering the XCOM income. That is not optimal because we're, we're definitely not going to expand a lot because we will not win a lot of missions to gain intel. XCOM soldiers will suffer greater losses to will in combat. That's not a problem. More explosives might be a problem and whatever the other hidden event is. This down here is definitely a problem. Three more weeks until the construction of the next facility, meaning that the Avatar uh, project will ramp up. Two more weeks until the next retaliation strike. This is probably when we're going to lose our additional region, because the uh, retaliation strike will most likely happen there. Uh, as for potential orders, I think we're going to go with the additional um, drop. I think we're going with uh, with the additional drop. Let's hope that our covert ops missions are going good. Dark Tower Noxus is unfortunately a bit a bit uh, wounded. Uh, but we got we got our Templar back, so got to get the Reapers as soon as possible. We got a breakthrough research for pistols. Uh, that's really not that important. Alien loot, similarly not uh, that important. 44 Intel might be okay. Can't do this here yet. Aim plus three definitely would be good. And, you know, we could... Hmm. Hmm. Improved pistols, allowing us to create plus one damage on our pistols. Mm. I wonder if that includes the uh, Uzi sidearm for for our Templar. Forty-four Intel is okay. Six days is. Fast enough. So no one will be wounded during the six days and getting the breakthrough research should definitely help with the pistols. Plus one damage is good. Not the best covert ops missions, to be honest. This, however, could be an important mission where we can get another engineer and two corporals. That would even mean the new recruits here have higher ranks than all of our soldiers. So, and 82 intel. So that's not a bad thing, not at all. I think we're going to do this mission uh, the next time, um, since it's going to be a little bit longer. We have been okay so far, but I feel we, we have to win a few missions now, as the game is uh, starting to slip into the direction of chaos. Uh, we are losing quite quite a few missions and the avatar progress is now ramping up so that is really important i hope we're going to make some decent progress uh, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content as always leave a like down below and uh, a comment thanks and bye bye